Hi, in this session, we'll try to understand how to perform the serial communication between ESP32 and a computer. Now, definitely there would be a question why we want to work with serial communication first. And I do experiment a lot with all the courses that I create. And I have found that working with serial communication first clarifies a lot of different things and it gives you an easy and quick output device to start working. Besides, the libraries involved are very simple to use and therefore, I think starting with serial communication would be a good point for you into the world of ESP32, embedded systems and IoT. So let's get started. First of all, let me get back to the basics of serial communication. So in order to understand that, what I'll do is I'll try to open my whiteboard because it gives me quite a good space to explain things. Okay, so let's get started. <clears throat> when we say serial communication, what we want or what we mean is whatever microcontroller you have. In this case, we have ESP32, but it doesn't matter which one it is. So whatever microcontroller you have has to communicate with computer. And why do we need to do that? Because serial communication is the simplest way to communicate between devices or serial interfaces like computer, but not limited to only computer. In the same way, you will be interfacing to a Bluetooth module. <clears throat> Sometimes you also interface with RF interface chips and lot many different peripherals like GPS, GSM, RFID reader, and so on. Now, with respect to computer, <clears throat> there is one issue. Computer doesn't have, I mean, at least the laptops doesn't have a native serial port. So what we do is we use a USB to serial interface. And the beauty with every Arduino compatible boards, including the ESP32 is it comes with an onboard USB interface. So on our ESP32 board, if you look into the schematic, I have it somewhere in this presentation. Yep, here it is. Now, if you look at here, <clears throat> this IC over here, CP2102 or 2104, is your USB to UART bridge. So, the microcontroller will communicate with this IC using two lines called as TXD and RXD. You can see those two lines here as well as here. We send the data using the TXT line using asynchronous serial communication and we receive the data through the RXT line on the controller. This IC acts as a bridge to interface with the USB port of your laptop or your computer, whichever you're using. So things become simpler in this way when you try to interface with this. However, there is one thing to understand and that is this is asynchronous serial communication primarily this is asynchronous. Means what? <clears throat> In asynchronous serial communication, there is no clock shared between ESP32 and the computer or any communicating device. So the clock is not shared. And because of that, we don't have a way to synchronize between the bits which are being sent. What I mean to say is, if I'm sending something like this, then is this single one or this is one one zero one or this is one 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 zero zero one. We don't have any means to identify that. What is exactly one? What is the duration of one? What is the duration of zero? We don't know that. We cannot synchronize because the clock is not synchronized. And because of that, what we do in a synchronous serial communication is we synchronize with the speech. A very simple example is I'm pretty sure you come across people from a lot of different geographical backgrounds, a lot of different places, and you may have observed that some of them have a tendency to speak faster, probably you speak slower. Now, when you work together, when you become friends or for the first time, what you say to each other is, you talk to him or her that please go a bit slower. 
he or she talks to you that please go a little bit faster and you adjust your communication speeds in the exact same manner what we do is we match the speed at both devices this speed is called as bits per second or also called as baud rate now this bits per second or baud rate there are some standard definitions by ibm pc which are used but the most popular one is 9600 which is being used and top of the line there is 115200 so you may see that the communication is happening <clears throat> at one of these two bits per second or baud rate most commonly however it's not limited to you can use any baud rate you want so what we have to do is we have to set the same bits per second baud rate at the transmitting or one device and the same one at the other device so their internal clocks are synchronized with each other and therefore whatever data is being sent it will be properly identified so it may very well be the case that this is 11111 this is 0000 this is 11 it doesn't matter whatever is the data you are sending it will properly be synced between the two devices if the baud rates are matched so this is what we are going to do and uh, we can perform two way communication in it there are a lot of different things like half duplex full duplex but i will not go into those intricacies because those are not important here what we can do however here is understand one thing that we have two separate lines txd and rxd so we can transmit and receive but not at the same time usually it is half duplex communication and you can also do it at the same time also in some cases so let's start get started with understanding a very simple program on serial communication with esp32 and pc thank you for watching this video